Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a really cool way of planting your seeds in a very small space, especially if you're starting seeds indoor and later on you want to transplant them outside. This is a perfect method to grow them in a very, very small space. And um, I found, I discovered it in one Russian lady's website uh, where she explains the whole process in Russian but it's very simple and you don't need a lot of things so today to um, grow it this way and it's called by the way the snail method because we're gonna wrap um, the seedlings in a snail um, shape but I'll, I'm gonna show you uh, exactly what to do but today I want to uh, plant these two types of basil uh, one will be this purple um, organic basil seeds and this variety is sweet basil. I planted these in the cups uh, earlier and yeah they germinated wonderfully but you know cups take a lot of space um, so the snail method will really definitely save me tons of space and uh, let me show you what else we need besides the seeds. We will need a roll of um, small trash can liners. We will roll them out like that and put our seedlings on them. Um, what else we will need is, um, we will need a roll of paper towel. Not a lot, not that much. Um, let me show you what I have already pre-cut for this purpose is um, I just took like that much maybe like two feet long of paper towels and I cut it in half so I have two strips of that ready also we will need some warm water why did I took why did I take this hot uh, or warm or even hot water is to speed up the germination process so if you want to just plant it using just cold water it's not going to germinate as fast as you do it in uh, warm water especially with basil they do love um, warm water and they do uh, germinate faster in warm water I already tried that and it works great so let's get started guys so here I rolled out my small trash can liners maybe like uh, since I'm working in a small space I'll be just rolling it out uh, little by little so it's it's about like two feet long and if it's not enough uh, to place my seedlings on then I'm gonna be using more so I'm gonna be even open opening more rolls so on top of this uh, trash can liner I'm gonna place uh, my first uh, strip of paper towel like that just nice and evenly and I want it to really touch uh, to line up with the top um, level of the trash can liner like that okay so I did it this way next um, we are going to soak it with warm water and for that I'm using this syringe bulb that you use you know for babies so I just decided this is really handy to water your seedlings so I'm gonna be you know dropping water on it just to soak it all over we want it to be really nice and so soaked like that okay so I soaked about two feet length of my paper towel and like I said earlier if I need more I'm gonna be just using more okay so next we will be placing our seeds on top uh, row like that in a row and I want to space them like two inch apart not too um, tight not too wide um, and I want to drop them like maybe half inch before the border like that okay so okay about that much will be the spacing so it's about two inches in between each seed 
See, I already put three on them on it. And I'm just gonna finish up the whole row and I'll come back. So in this row, I planted, I placed about nine seeds. And since I wanna do more, I'm just gonna open up more of that um, trash can liner and I'm gonna line it up with another strip of paper towel right here. <coughs> So I can fit another 10 or so seeds in here. So once we place our seeds, next step is we slowly, we carefully start to uh, roll it. And uh, since I'm holding my camera with my other hand, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be hard to roll it really with one hand, but I'll do my best, you know, that. And after this, like, we will give about three to four days for these guys to germinate. And after that, um, I'll be checking them like every other day or even every day and as soon as I see them germinate I'm gonna roll it out and um, fill it in with dirt you know but I'll show you so let me finish with rolling because I need both hands to do that and um, I'll show you uh, the so I placed about 40 seeds in this row and I kept rolling them and I kept adding the um, paper towel strips and I kept um, um, moistening up them up with warm water and here's the end of my roll I just cut cut the end with the scissors and um, after finishing up rolling your whole thing what you want to do is to seal it up right here, you will need a piece of tape or some kind of band, rubber band or something, since the, they don't have any roots yet and they're very short, the rubber band's not going to hurt them, but you definitely want to check them often enough and check if there's um, if the germination has started. Then we will do, we will move on to the next step. <coughs> So I put a band on it to keep it nice and tight and the bottom part of the um, uh, liner or the trash can liner I just cut it off because I found it to be too long I didn't want it to be too long so we will cover it up we will just put it in a ziploc bag or something just to keep it nice and warm and give it a greenhouse condition and uh, we will check back after three or four days of course uh, i don't want to forget to label it as sweet basil and i'm going to do the same thing with the purple basil and um, i'll give you an update after a few days um, and um, i'll show you what i'm going to do next thanks for watching please let me know in the comments below if you have tried this before method and um, how it worked for you or if you haven't then um, please let me know if you're interested and um, I would be happy to know about that thanks again for watching bye bye